Ever gotten shot at from a guy far away with a VSS? Just look carefully at these as follows. Enemy in front of you. Enemy towards your right. Enemy towards your back. Enemy towards your left. Now you can spot and your enemies easily. If you're on the terrace of this house and an enemy rushes towards you, go to the edge and jump on this tent. Now get into the house in this manner and attack your enemy from behind. While you're in the school building, you can fool your enemy by jumping outside the window. Just keep your cursor towards the wall so that you stand on this ledge. Now climb back again and surprise your enemy. Using the new ledge grab feature, you can directly get into any floor of the building from the terrace. Here are a few examples. If you're near this building and someone rushes towards you, hide in between these walls. The enemy would unknowingly go inside the building and hence you can take an easy Come to the terrace of the school building. Now jump over to this roof and wait for your enemies. As soon as someone comes to the terrace, You can now to a fuel can using guns or grenades. Here's a list of the bullets it takes to the fuel can using different weapons. You can take advantage of the gas can in this manner. Just drop it on the stairs and take your position. As soon as the enemy rushes towards you, start firing in such a way that your connect to both the gas can and the enemy. We know fuel cans deal damage on their but how much? Here are five enemies. The distance shown here is their distance from the fuel can. After firing at the can, the HP of the enemies are as follows. You can use the stickers collected from the crates to give your vehicle a different look. Just look towards it and tap on the sticker to apply it to the vehicle. You can climb on this building near Pochinki and jump onto the sniper tower next to it for some easy You cannot fire while seated inside a BRDM. Here's a cool trick which you can use. Make one of your teammates stay seated over the BRDM. Since the surface area of the BRDM is large, they won't fall. This gives you access to anyone without falling. You can climb this building near the military base by jumping onto this container. Now run towards the building and use the ledge grab to get on top of it. If you see an enemy near you, fire randomly and make him come towards you. As soon as he opens the door, jump outside the window and easily in this manner. If you start getting shots while sprinting, tap on the gun and prone button together to prone quickly. Here's a comparison between doing it normally and doing it using the trick. If you ever jump across a wall by mistake and spot an enemy on the other side, just pull the joystick towards the back to cancel the jump. The wheels of the BRDM are bulletproof, hence don't try to burst the tires. 
The maximum speed of a BRDM on road is approximately 100, and the maximum speed in water is approximately 30. Bullets taken to the BRDM is as follows. While playing a payload mode, you can heal yourself while sprinting and also while driving. Ever wondered what is the exact distance up to which the grass gets rendered? Let's check it out by marking this location near my enemy. Now we'll walk away from him and check the map. As you can see, the enemy gets spotted after the distance of approximately 145 meters. Hence, we can say that 145 meters is the maximum grass render distance. Here's a fun trick. You can use an emote while moving. Just move your joystick a bit in any direction and tap on any emote. You can see that the player does the emote while moving. Here's a bonus tip. Subscribe to Clash Universe for more such videos. Let's keep a like aim of 10,000. Hope you guys do it.